Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, thank Crunchy, it's Friday, but Friday is blood pressure day. Oh, <laughs> it's horrible and it's absolutely ridiculous. My husband's been laughing at me. He's like, literally, Jane, you stick your arm out, they put a thing around your arm, and that's it. I'm like, I know. It's not even the fact of having my blood pressure taken, it's the fact of having to go to the doctor, sit in the waiting room. And when you suffer with anxiety and mental health, like a lot of you do understand, it's horrendous. My husband just doesn't get it. He's like, what, you know, it's fine. To him, it's like just going to sit, I don't know, on the, in the park. <laughs> and it's not, when, you, when you're stressy, nutty like me, it's absolutely horrible. So it's ruined my morning. Um, my appointment is half past 11. It's pretty much ruined my whole week, but, I'm going to go um, so that I maybe inspire any of you that are struggling to go. So you're helping me to go. I hope I help you to go if you need to go to the doctors, if that makes any sense. So weather, it's a bit bleh. I don't think it's going to rain. Fingers crossed. There's been so much flooding around our area. It's absolutely terrible. They've had people on the radio saying how their homes are three foot underwater. And, and then you think, Jane, put your life into perspective. Your house is not underwater. Um, so you shouldn't be panicking, which I know is so true. Um, but I do feel for everyone, it's absolutely terrible. I feel for you so much. Right, so, morning, Pat, Peggy and me. Uh, right, little bubba. Um, and calendar of the day. Let's hope it's a good one for Friday. Uh, right, so, weekend loading. <laughs> That's good. And it's my favourite shade of pink. Weekend loading. Right, I'll be glad when half 11 is over and done with then i will look forward to the weekend um back to school and stuff next week oh i'm not looking forward to that early mornings uh lorraine's magic we've got if people don't look at don't look at you like your magic make them disappear <laughs> um and older wiser sexier which lovely penny centers we've got um if god had meant me to touch my toes he would have put chocolates on the floor <laughs> Yeah, you don't bang quite so much as you get older. It gets a bit more difficult to bend down. Uh, right, anyway, happy Friday. Right, breakfast. So I've got bran flakes, blueberries. I did have a few licorice all sorts last night and some crisps. Um, I kind of feel like I'm still not quite in the zone. I feel like Monday will be better to start dieting because everyone will be back at school and work and... Things will be a bit more back to normal. But anyway, we'll try and be good again today. So we've got bran flakes, blueberries. I've got three little bran flakes for my friends. I don't know where, where Winnie is. I think she must be in the room. Dolly's had a shredding session, as you can see. She's got all the little paper bag and decided to shred it all. Right, Florence, Dolly. <laughs> right, trying to get ready. So I was trying to put something on. My mum said put something on that's got like wide sleeves so you can quickly just roll your sleeve up. So I've put my blue jumper on that I had on the other day, but it's got like really wide sleeves. So I can pull my whole sleeve up. And then I was about to put my earrings in. And I thought, oh, I'll show these because they're absolutely lovely. So they are from Pandora. Um, but what's so nice about them, you know a lot of hoop earrings, um, they stay sort of round, if that makes sense. So when you go to put them in your ear, sometimes this middle bit can be curved over and it can hurt your ear as you put it in if that makes sense uh, but these are actually flat and they're so easy to put in and they're so easy to undo so you literally just like pull them apart and they open up like that and they're so easy to get in and out of so if you look for some hoop earrings and you struggle with hoops like I have done in the past I tried to poke some in my ear and made all my ear bleed it was terrible um then I recommend these. They're so lovely. Obviously, they're very sparkly. Um, but I presume all their little hoops must be like this. It's such a good design. I love them. Right. Boring jobs. Boring jobs. Boring jobs. They take your mind off things. <laughs> Do you take my mind off things as well? Ruby's still in bed. Oh, the joys of being a teenager. You get to sleep till dinner time, don't you? What are you doing? <laughs> I like this song a lot. I keep listening to it, I don't know why. Soli Soli, middle of the road. I really like it. Oh, I really don't want to go. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? You look normal, but inside you're going, oh. <laughs> and that's how you feel. If you could just walk around like this, and people would know that you were feeling a bit. 
<laughs> and my dog's on a mission to be a twat. <laughs> it's just that some more of that bag. I was meant to clean it up. Look down and she was eating it. She's just swallowed a piece of paper bag. Why? Why would you do that? That's so silly. Yeah. No good pretending it's not in your mouth. Hmm. So this morning, Dolly's on a mission to be a diva. What have you got now? You've got all your other toys, and now you've got your new little green thing. Oh, that's lovely. Every time I come back in the kitchen, I get greeted with this. Are you beautiful? Hey. Oh, that's lovely. And I've been reading through some of my comments from yesterday's video, and lovely Caroline, who we sent wishes for over Christmas, sadly her mum has passed away. So Caroline, I just want to say, we're all here for you. I know obviously it's only a virtual thing, but sometimes it helps to know that you're not alone. So let's all put an emoji, heart emoji down below for Caroline, just to let her know that she's not alone, because it's such a difficult time. And, it's probably one of the worst things you go through in life. It's absolutely horrendous losing a parent. It's just so awful. So, Caroline, my darling, you will be in my thoughts and everybody else's. And let's put lots of hearts down below for Caroline. We're all thinking of you, my darling. Big, big hugs. Mm. 10 to 11, so we've not got long. Um, so, I've got my mug of the day. I've made myself a little cup of tea. Um, lipstick of the day. I've put a tiny bit of gleaming guava on. I didn't want to put too much on because obviously you're going to the doctor, so it's quite a serious sort of thing. Um, but I can't not wear lipstick unless I'm absolutely dying. So um, so I've just put a tiny bit on, but some of it's come off on my mug anyway. So it'll pretty much look like we've not got any on anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting now. I could hear a bird singing a minute ago. I love to hear the birds. I know somebody said the other day you could hear it on my video. And it's so lovely. I love listening to the birds. When my dad was really poorly, um, the doctors and nurses said to him, you know, try and enjoy the little things in life like nature and listening to the birds. And It's so true. It is lovely. Right, we've got about 15 minutes. I'm just finishing my tea. And guess what's just wrong me now? <laughs> the opticians have wrung me and my glasses are ready. Oh, more stress. <laughs> How many appointments at medical things can you fit in in the first week of January? <laughs> I've, I've like sacked that off till next week. Can't cope with that as well this week. Um, so next week is new glasses week, which is expensive and also again causes my anxiety to go through the roof because until you actually try them on, you don't know if you're gonna be able to see properly out of them. And it always, I hate it when I get my lenses changed because sometimes it makes you feel dizzy i've had them where they put new lens in and I, I like went to bend down and everything looked bent it's so horrible um so we'll see hopefully because they've double checked my test twice um hopefully they should be really good <gasps> more stress i feel like my brain's gonna pop but honestly i've got sweaty boobs and everything it's like <sighs> and my husband and room keep laughing at me i'm like yeah we'll wait till it's your turn for something medical then i want to laugh at you it's horrible Winnie not seen you today. Are you okay? Are you hiding in the sitting room? Hey, are you hiding? You look very peaceful and calm. Oh, I wish I could be more Winifred. Hey, let's all be a little bit more Winifred. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Go. <sighs> What's the matter? Does my breath smell? <laughs> Did that make you screw your nose up? Ooh. Right, we've arrived at the doctor's. Don't know why, but my husband's come with me. He's not waiting in the car for me. I think he thinks I'm going in a charity shop, but I'm not really. Look at my little friends. Yeah, look at all the fluffy <laughs> it's moaning about the fluff on his dashboard. Can you see all this? This comes off me. I'm very floofy. I like to leave a little trail of floof behind. Right, anyway, we're now going to 
Let's drop our off. Let's go. Right, we've made it back home. Oh, I'm so pleased to be home. A little bit. Right, so we're home. The bagels are on. Winnie Fred. You look very funny sat there. Look at your little wrinkles. And I've just seen that Kate Garraway's husband's just died. He had um, long COVID. Um, she's like a TV and radio presenter and she's absolutely adorable. And I've just seen on the news that he's died and that is just so sad. You think, come on 24, we need some nice news. Oh bless her. So I'm also feeling for her as well today. Right, bagel number one. So that's my hubby's bagel, one egg, one bacon. So we're waiting for Ruby's bagel to cook. I'm surrounded by weirdos. Look, look at Florence. Florence, darling, what are you doing? You're all weirdos. You're all strange. <laughs> and I don't know why your bed's ended up in the middle of the kitchen, Winifred. And why have we got Dolly's ping pong? Dolly loves a ping pong. Oh, you are clever. Mm, that's lovely. Oh, thanks. Let them... Oh. <laughs> Come on, food, hurry up and cook. I'm hungry. You've missed your ping pong. I know you. My dogs do entertain me an awful lot. You make me happy, don't you? Right, bagel number two for little Ruby. Now mine is in the oven, not in the oven, in the air fryer. <sighs> right, it's quarter to one. Finally, my bacon bagel is ready. I have chucked a bit more cheese on it. Just the relief of being okay. <laughs> Oh, what a morning. And it, I have filmed this to just show the effects of mental health because, like I said to my husband, just because you look all right doesn't mean you feel all right. And it's so important to share, isn't it? Because it makes other pe people feel better to know that you're not alone. Uh, right, so, bacon bagel. <laughs> I have to enjoy it. And yes, I'll save you a bit. Right, that was lovely. Florence, you have got the best, waggiest tail in the world. I love your tail so much. Look at it wagging. I'm glad you're still happy, my dog. Oh, God, you <laughs> bit my finger. You nearly bit my finger and I managed to catch the bacon. Right, there you go. I can't believe you nearly bit my finger. I don't even know if the camera picked up. <laughs> that was lethal. Florence, you nearly had me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Dolly's had ears as well. Was that nice? <laughs> right, I'm in the car. I've escaped. Um, it's about ten past one. My food shopping's coming between four and five, but it always comes a bit earlier. But we're going out. I'm going to go to the cake shop and get my neighbour a little jam tart because she loves them. Um, so I'm going to treat myself to a donut if they've got any left. I just feel I need a bit of relief. <laughs> <laughs> let's go right we've made it i don't know if i already said this as well but my neighbor really likes the little tiny jam tarts that they do so i'm gonna get my neighbor a little jam tart as well bless her
Back in the car. Oh, I've had a lovely chat to some people in the shops. It's been lovely. So I'm just going to dash across to the one I went to yesterday because I've had a little idea and if the thing's still there, I'm going to buy it. Might not still be there. Let's go.
We're outside a cake shop. Look at the little penguins in the window, they're so cute. Um, but I've already got a cake, so we don't need any more cake. I'm going home. Right, I've made it home. Look what I bought for my neighbour. <laughs> I don't always buy things, um, but she absolutely loves corgis. And I saw this in trash shop and I thought, I've got to get it because it's from Hamleys, the toy shop lot. It's got a little cloak on that says Hamleys, um, British Union Jack Bow. And I thought it can be a late birthday present off Dolly because she loves Dolly so much. And I thought, it's just so cute. Why would you not love him? It's adorable. And he was only £1.50. And £1.50 to spread a bit of happiness is nothing. Um, I think she's going to love it. Right, so what else did we buy? So I bought, I bought this ring. I couldn't resist it. It's so... Well, I mean, obviously, it had spotlights in the shop, but it shone like anything. And I thought, you know, when you've got a little bit of a tan, uh, your hands are a little bit browner and stuff, it'll look really lovely in summertime. So, treat myself to that. That was from a new shop. And then from the shop, I got this little belt. It was a pound. Um, it's, like, stretchy. But I don't own a light-coloured belt, and I thought it was quite nice again for summertime. The idea I had was, when I went in the posh, expensive, light like, shop, um... They got some like little dolls sat on a chair and I thought, oh, it looks so cute. And I saw this little doll yesterday and she is from the White Company. Um, I think it's a children's one, but it is the White Company. And I thought, you know, sat in my little chair in the room, I thought she'd look really sweet. And she was half price, so she was actually 50p. I love her, little Betty. She's so cute. Look at her little heart lips. And I thought she can sit on my little chair in my sitting room uh, with my little cushion. And she's got little glittery feet and stuff. And I loved how they'd style their little dolls. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to get one. And then the award for the most random thing ever is this. I bought this for Dolly. It was a pound. I've not given her it yet. What do you think? <laughs> do you think she's going to like it? I want to show my husband it first. It's funny. Then we'll give her it. And... My husband's in his element, so obviously because I went out this afternoon, he was like, oh, I'm just going to mess about with the car. So he's been in his zone all afternoon. Um, it's just made me help him hold a funnel and he's just tipped antifreeze on my finger. So I hope my finger don't fall off. So he's very busy fixing snowflake. Look at him, his old post office coat. <laughs> oh, we're having a special biscuit for the Mason salted caramel biscuit with my coffee. We deserve it after today. Well, honestly, I ain't got the top one. Mm, right, back inside for another biscuit. I have to say, I think this is the nicest biscuit I've ever eaten. It's mind-blowingly lovely, so we're just going to have one more each. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. And then, Tesco arrived! So, my Tesco food shop's here, and then I'll nip across to my neighbour. I'm very excited to give her a present. 
Right, Mr Tesco's bin. So we need to get it all put away now. Are you going to put it away for me? <laughs> Aww, little Betty's on a chair. Love her, she's so cute. Little Betty. Right, Avon. My Avon has arrived. What do you think? <laughs> From Tesco shopping to Avon. Right, so I can't remember what I've ordered. Oh, I didn't know you could get that liquid soap. Oh, that's my favourite. How did I not know you could get that in liquid soap? Oh, I'm going to get some of that. Oh, I didn't know they did it in soap. Oh, new Avon book. I love looking through new Avon books. And I've just seen... Oh, it's on offer again. My favourite lipstick. Uh, Can't Quit Cafe is the one I have, which is that one. And I've ordered, I think, that one to try. Oh, but Resilient Red is beautiful. I love it. So many goodies coming up. So you can order these from uh, February. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's lovely. Some good bargains. Love Avon. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I need to come get my tea ready. I was just sorting out these last few bits. Oh, lovely. So there's my uh, lipsticks, what I've ordered. So I've ordered some prep and set spray. Um, I've ordered a red matte lipstick. I've ordered um, the new red one, Power Stay, and I've ordered some Avon Senses Lavender Carmel Bath. Love it. Oh, got to love it when all you've got to do for your tea is warm it up. Lovely. Oh, off to enjoy it. The lovely curry with some poppadoms. Oh, right. It's feeding time. My curry was delicious. Right, there you go, Florence. <laughs> Get my words out, you can talk to me, Dolly. And last but not least, Dolly! Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh, are you hungry? <laughs> there you go. Oh, lovely. Yeah, can you eat that without licking your lips? Off to enjoy my little bird's treat. Dolly, here's your fish. There you go. Happy Fishy Friday. <laughs> what do you think to that? Is it good? Oh, it's very rustly. Sounds like you're eating crisps. Lovely. Do you like it? Say, love you, mummy. You found me the best treats ever. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely little fish. Right, we're en route to my neighbours to deliver the corgi. Oh, so he's got a new home. King Roger the dog. What else? Or oh, some pyjamas. They have pyjamas at Christmas. And then we made it home. Oh, she absolutely loved the dog. So sweet. It made me want to cry. Oh, she said the little mouse that we gave her the other day, she's put in a bedroom because she loves the little dangling legs and a little nose. And then she loved the dog. She's going to call him King Rog because her husband was called Roger. So uh, King Rog, she loved him. Absolutely loved him. You know when you give somebody something and you know that they really love it. I could just tell she loved it so much. It was so sweet. Bless her. Um, oh, and she loved a cake as well. So anyway, many thanks for being there with me. Don't forget to put some lovely hearts down below for Caroline. Um, just thinking about you it's such a sad time it's so hard so Caroline lots of hearts for you my darling so if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life then please subscribe to my channel come and find me on Instagram as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady my dogs have got Instagram which is three fluffles my Avon's down below it's all down below and thanks for being there with me today on this stressful day that's been like oh. so obviously this morning was like oh and then this afternoon's been lovely so it just shows days are never as you think they're going to be and face your demons if i can do it anyone can do it we can do it together so i'll see you tomorrow